Community Services Division. Items 9 and 12 are for informational purposes only. If you have any questions, we happy to try to answer those. Items 10, 17, and 18 were approved on consent. John Wood uh, will present under the Office of Information Technology, item number 11. Leroy Marshall will present items 13 and 14 under Resource Management, and Warren Zwaka, item 15 and 70 week under item 16. Then under Agriculture and Environmental Projects, uh, Pat Webster will be presenting item 19 and then Glass item 20. But with that, I'll turn it over to John Wood. I'm not going to 
fuss against it. I'm going to vote for it one way or the other. You know, have, but, but I'm just wondering next time in five years if that would be even an option to be able to look with the way technology and bandwidth and everything else is, is progressing versus spending for the, for the hardware here. Would it be better to have a long-term contract to put that out source to, to even have that as an option, you know, just to look at it next time? Right. I, I mean, it's certainly the direction we're headed. Um, I mean, if you look at what's in our computer room today versus 10 years ago, uh, it's about a third of what the equipment that we had. Um, I think part of that is because we moved some of our applications to cloud. Uh, our email system is all cloud-based, uh, Office 365. That used to be an on-premise server. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're definitely headed that way. And, um, I think in 10 or 15 years from now, we probably won't have anything except a network connection in our computer. But what you're saying is today, the technology is there, we're better off to go this route. That, that's in this, in our, for us, yes. Yeah, okay. uh, like I say, there, there are particular applications that are attractive, <coughs> and we are moving into those areas, and we continue to do so. Let me ask you something. I, I guess I just assumed we were doing this. In, in the event of an actual disaster, when we've got data that goes back, you know, in the 30s here, is it backed up somewhere else? Yes. If we had a natural disaster here and this all got destroyed, we right. do have access, we have somewhere that data's been backed yes, up. Yes, we do have, we do have uh, routine backups that are scheduled and, and kept. We get the more frequent ones or more recent ones on-premise and the further, further back to, to keep those off-site. We do a rotation of those on a quarterly basis. So, um, so yeah, so everything is being being backed up. Um, with the acquisition of this device, uh, we now have an, op an opportunity to actually take our older SAN, the current SAN, move it to a <coughs> remote facility like perhaps St. John's in their computer room and replicate our data so that you would have um, almost like a warm failover if something happens to this site and you've got a hot copy of your data over there. So right now our, our current disaster recovery plan we would have